So I'm back at my base now. These are the turtles that I've produced from uh, the mines that were just showing you down below. There's still 11 diamonds. There's a hoe here which uh, I will take with me because I want to now start setting up a, both a farm and a tree forest. So I've been over to the local village and uh, stolen some uh, seeds and uh, crops here so that we can use those for our farm. I did it at night so that I didn't uh, disturb the, uh, the farmers and get them annoyed. So we'll now take um, the two standard turtles and we'll use those as permanent tree and crop farming turtles. So we'll also need a bunch of cobble. This is all coming from the mines down below. Let's take six of those. Take the dirt. We can always come back if we need more. And uh, we'll get started. Again, I'm still in peaceful mode for the moment, just to make life easier for recording purposes. So this is my original tree farm, which I've stripped. So we'll use that as the area for our new uh, farm here. So let's start it. Uh, start it here. I think that would be OK. Right, so we're going to use the toolkit again. Um, let's start with the forestry. We'll do a tree farm first. So we want to create an auto tree farm which is number five. So it says to place on a side of a 19 by 14 area which is where we are. So that means 19 across that way and 14 up that way. It doesn't matter about all the terrain. It'll sort that out. So we press enter and then it's giving instructions as to what it wants. So three chests, 128 dirt, 128 cobble, two water buckets. OK, I've got buckets, but there's no water. Hang on, I'll be back. OK, I've got a couple of water buckets now. And a hopper. Ah, again, I didn't make that. I should have uh, checked this before I started. Okay, I just made a hopper. And torches. Okay, I've got 22. That'll do. Saplings. Yeah, I'll put uh, a bunch of saplings in. It doesn't really matter how many. Right, so we're ready to go. So this will now build the automated tree farm. So I'll stand back and let you watch. Oh, I forgot I'm not in creative mode so I can't jump up. Let's uh, come to a suitable viewing point. So what it's doing at the moment is to create a water source with a standard sort of 2x2 two two layout. So it's just creating the uh, the bottom of the pit there. The buckets are already in, inside so it will fill that up. Come back to this corner and pick up to refill its two buckets so we've now got a, wa a water source. The water source is only used in the construction of the farm and it can be destroyed um, afterwards it doesn't have to uh, be there. What it's doing next is to place a chest at the bottom of a three uh, sort of three story pit and is lining the pit with the cobble to make sure that there's no leakage of water or this is to catch saplings in when they fall. So that's the chest gone. Now it will place the uh, hopper against the chest. Now it's going to dig a trench and the reason it's twisting from side to side is to make sure that there are sides to this trench and if there aren't any sides it will plonk a block of cobble or dirt in and it will make it seven spaces long. Shouldn't be far off. Yet. There we go. Now it will do a second uh, one so again it's checking what it's got there. So 
So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll be the last one, I suspect. Yep. So we've now got this double water flow. Let's get out of the way. So it's now continuing to build the retaining wall to the farm. It doesn't matter that there's going to be a gap under here, you can manually fill that in, it won't affect the operation of the farm. Saplings falling in here will still go down to this uh, hopper and go into the chest. Now this single block standing on its own looks a bit odd, but it's there for a purpose. Uh, as you notice, or may have known, if you uh, if the chunk is unloaded because the player wanders too far away, the program that's running will stop. So if this was in the middle of harvesting the trees, which will be in this area here, it's. Uh, it can be made to restart but it doesn't know where it is so you have to write a program to allow it to come down to water level come find the cobble and then trace the cobble round and as soon as it hits the cobble block here it knows exactly where it is and can then go back to where it's starting point and uh, continue with the farming of the tree so at the moment we're going underneath here it doesn't really matter that there's blocks above but uh, I'll just I'll manually remove those. dirt seeing as I've supplied most of it uh, what I had so now that it's finished uh, the outer perimeter wall here what it's doing is to check the floor here and fill up any gaps so if there's already a block of some description there it'll leave it if there's a gap or a torch it'll uh, take that out and fill the uh, space in. Okay, I'll pause at this point because obviously it's going to do the whole of this area here and when it gets to this final corner I'll uh, restart. Okay, so it's coming up to the final corner of this uh, farm base now. So it will head back, collect a couple of buckets of water and starts to flood this area here so that any saplings dropping in will get washed down and can be collected into that uh, chest there. So it does it two buckets at a time and uh, although you can get away with filling every other row it was just easier to uh, to do it every, every single uh, row here. So again I'll let that one run until it's finished. Okay so it's now on its final run here. So it's filled all the water uh, brackets up coming back. Now we're going to start putting the uh, dirt blocks for the trees to grow on. Uh, the turtle, as you can see, can place blocks in mid-air, which is really helpful. So you don't have to, as if you were on a player, where you have to kind of build block against block. This can just do it uh, wherever it wants, which is really useful. So this is the principle. We put a single block in with a torch on the side and a sapling on the top. And we space them out one block at a time. This works for all trees except dark oak, um, which of course needs a 2x2 two two block. Uh, jungle trees will grow um, quite successfully. 
except the number of saplings they produce is lower, but it, it does still seem to work. Uh, birch and uh, oak work the best. Okay, again, I will leave that until it's finished to show you the, uh, the last stages. Okay, so it's finished the last of the tree planting blocks. So it's going to place a double chest above it and sit and face the first sapling. So the way this works is that uh, once configured this turtle will observe the sapling in front uh, and as soon as it grows it will trigger it to start uh, going through each of the blocks in turn harvesting any tree that happens to be on there and replanting a, a sapling. Once it gets back to the chest it'll drop the saplings down into the water um, fill up the chest with uh, wood and then repeat the cycle. So we now need to program this so that it will do that. So the message says that the auto farm has completed. Do not place torches or other blocks on the cobble perimeter. That's just because that uses that when it's uh, trying to find its home. Use option 5 manage auto tree farm to set up monitoring. Enter to continue. So we'll hit enter here. So the program is finished. First job is to remove all unnecessary debris from here um, and then we'll run TK again and we want to do the forestry again too but this time we want to manage the auto tree farm which is six so place in front of the sapling or tree with the chest behind me enter to continue this turtle can be configured to be a dedicated farm manager that will start automatically and monitor the farm complex, harvesting and replanting automatically. Place between chest and first sapling tree. Are we ready? Yes. Let's hit Y. Startup files written. Drop saplings into the water if none are planted. Do you want to start now? Yes. That's it. So it's now waiting for the sapling in front to start up. So what I'll do is just show you what changes that made to the file system so that you know how it's working. Okay, so this is the um, this is computer one inside the uh, Minecraft save and there's now a new a couple of new files. There's one called start.txt and another one called startup.lua. Start text has simply one word in it which says tree and start startup.lua which was written by the program if I just drag that across is fairly simple all it does is to check whether that text file called start exists and if it does it opens it up reads the contents and then it runs whatever the command the parameter is which in this case was tree so it starts uh, the uh, toolkit with the command tree which will run the tree farming and that will happen automatically because if you create any file with this name startup.lua inside a turtles it will run that as soon as it is loaded in as soon as you click on it as soon as the chunk reloads that will start running so that's the way that this one works okay so we'll leave that one to do its stuff and uh, we'll now go and uh, start up a, an automatic crop farm.